All right, what's up guys? You asked for it, how to connect OBS to Zoom and bring Zoom back into OBS. Very excited to do this tutorial, everybody. Uh, there's a lot of crazy information about how to do this and we're gonna do it the best possible way. And I'm gonna start with a diagram. So this diagram here shows how to connect OBS to Zoom. First of all, we're gonna use a virtual camera and there's a virtual cam plugin for OBS that's going to allow us to do that. Then we're going to take an audio output of Zoom into OBS and an audio input from OBS into Zoom and those are going to be done via virtual audio cables and we're going to show you how to get both of these. Now with Zoom you essentially have a microphone and a speaker and we'll use both of those with virtual audio cables to con fully connect OBS and Zoom together. Let's start by downloading the virtual camera. So all you have to do is search for OBS virtual camera and go to the download button, and it's gonna download it for you. And we are going to use the, a Windows computer to do this. We're gonna go ahead and accept the agreement and install this plugin for, for OBS. Once we install it, it will be available in the tools section of OBS, and I'll show you guys where to get that. So once it's installed, uh, we can just go right up to tools over here, and virtual camera will open up. Now, the cool thing about virtual camera is that you can just hit the start button, and it will start outputting anything from OBS into the targeted virtual camera that you have selected. You can have up to four virtual cameras, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we just need one and it will ask you how many you want to set up in the beginning. But there we go. We now have a virtual camera set up. Now it's outputting directly into Zoom. So that is the virtual camera part portion of this. But the next thing we got to do before we really get into that is we need to get our virtual audio cables. Where do we get our virtual audio cables? Well, just type in virtual audio cables into Google and click the first thing that comes up. It's VB Audio Software. And this is going to allow you to download it. Now you do need to download the A plus B, which does require a donation. Any donation that you want to donate to them, it could be $1, just make a donation and then you'll get a username and login. You can go to your downloads and you can see I've already downloaded this. But the A to B is good is, is required because you need the in and the out virtual audio cables. So copy these onto your desktop. And once they are there, we can go into these folders and we can uh, go to the A and the B. So open up the A, go through the setup process. You can see I already have it installed. I'm not going to remove this. And then there is a B audio driver as well. Now, now that we have that, those two installed, we can start using them. So let's look at what it's like to use this in Zoom. As you can see here, uh, we have the audio, the speaker set up for, to use cable B and the microphone to set up for cable A. Now, if you guys remember, just to kind of run through this with you here, We've got two of these that we need. We need to use the speaker output of Zoom to come in as a microphone in OBS. And then we wanna use the microphone input in Zoom as the output from OBS. That way we can fully have these connected. So as you can see here, that's exactly what we're doing. We have uh, the speaker set up and we also have the microphone set up. So speaker is cable B microphone is cable A. Now, once you've done this, we need to go into the audio settings of OBS to make sure everything is working properly. Now you go to the settings section, then you click audio. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring audio cable A and B into the settings so that we can use them. I've just set up mic auxiliary audio one for cable A and mic auxiliary audio two for cable B. It's really that simple. Then we go into advanced audio properties down at the, the bottom here. And what we have to do is we have to set up our monitor output. 
So we basically are choosing what do we want to hear through the monitor audio output. And that's what we're going to set up to pump out to Zoom. The nice thing about this is maybe you don't want to send everything to Zoom. Maybe you just want to send some things to the live stream and some things to Zoom. But essentially in the settings area, we have an advanced area. This is in the audio settings area where we can choose cable A to be the audio output for OBS. So anything that we set up in that advanced audio settings that we just looked at there, that we set up under the monitor option. So it's either monitor and output or monitor only. We'll go out to that virtual audio output. So let's show this all in action here. So I've got OBS on one co on computer A. I have Zoom over here. I need to just switch this to my OBS camera here. Let's go in OBS and make sure my virtual camera is set on. And as you can see over here, I have Zoom. Over here, I have OBS. When I switch scenes in OBS, it instantly switches in Zoom. Now here's another important thing here. You can tell that this is working because the audio coming out of the audio mixer in OBS is coming in through the microphone here. You can see the little levels going up. So all you gotta do is make sure that you have the right virtual audio cable set up there. And then the final part of this is that you just need to go into your sources into uh, OBS and capture the screen capture of your Zoom meeting on a second monitor. That's really the best way to do that. So there we go, guys, we have done it. We've done it, can you believe it? We did it, we captured the OBS video, we brought, or sorry, we captured the Zoom video into OBS, we're do, uh, bringing audio and video from OBS into Zoom, and there's no feedback loops, it's perfect. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Okay, well that's it guys. I hope that you make some awesome live streams and webinars and meetings by using the power of OBS inside of Zoom and using Zoom to bring in all those awesome remote guests from around the world into your video production software. By the way, pick up a free copy of my book, The Unofficial Guide to Open Broadcaster Software. There's also an online course that you can take to increase your skills with OBS. And don't forget to join our Stream Geeks user group. There's so many great people doing stuff just like this that you can learn from. You won't become a video production expert overnight, so join us and join the family. We're having a lot of fun out there. Take care, everybody. Bye.